Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about completing the process of promoting our server 2019 server to that of a domain controller. We now know that this is a two-step process. In the first step, we had to install the Active Directory domain and domain services role. We're now going to proceed on with doing the second step, which is actually promoting this machine to be in the forest route for our new domain. And as before, we're going to complete this process by using PowerShell. So let's see how we do that. The process of promoting our machine to a domain controller begins with the creation of our forest root. Now you might see that question again on a Microsoft exam. What commandlet must you first use when installing a new domain controller in a new domain? And that is not a trick question. You must first create the forest. This one command is going to take the place of the entire wizard that we would normally run through to promote this machine manually. So let's just go ahead and hit enter. Now it wants the name of the domain. So I currently have a domain presence. I have a registered domain name for my organization known as Cyber Offense. So for my internal network, I'm going to configure a secondary domain. And I'm going to call this us.cyberoffense.com because it's only going to be used internally. Just like that. Hit enter. Now it wants the safe mode administrator password. Now you, you have to remember that this password should probably be the same password that you're going to use for the domain administrator account. So where does that domain administrator account come from? Well when you install or you promote this machine to a domain controller it's going to take the current server administrator account password and it's going to move that over to the domain administrator account. So use the same password. Now it tells you the target server will be configured as a domain controller and restarted when this operation is complete. Do you want to continue with this operation? And we're going to type in a Y for yes, which is actually the default. Hit enter. And now the process of promoting this machine or installing the Active Directory Forest begins. And then you're going to get all those default warnings that you would get, that you would see, if you were running through this process using the installation wizard. Now you'll notice that all these information messages are in yellow. That just tells you what they are. They are informational messages. If they were critical stop errors, they would be in red. And so DNS was not currently present on our server. This PowerShell process detected that DNS was not present and it automatically installed it and it will configure it as a forward lookup zone for our new domain. As the PowerShell steps through the process of promoting this machine, you'll see that it does give you a lot of information about what is being installed. Now it's going to go ahead and automatically restart. We can close this out. And when we come back in, we're going to log on to this machine for the first time as a domain controller for our new domain. Our new domain controller is back up and running, and we sent across the Control-Alt-Delete message, and now we're ready to log on. And we want to log on to the domain. As a matter of fact, since this is a domain controller, you can only log on to this machine as the domain administrator. So let's go ahead and type in that administrator password that we previously used to log on to this machine when it was just a member server. And now that our domain controller is back up and running, we have server manager open. Let's go ahead and take a look at the tools that are currently installed. We have DNS. We have our Active Directory users and computers. We have group policy management. So these are all good tools, and they help to ease the administrative burden of trying to manage our new server 2019 domain. So let's take a look at our Active Directory real quick. Now, the main tool for managing all the objects up inside of your Active Directory domain will always be Active Directory users and computers. That's not to say that you can't use PowerShell. You can but this is a nice snap-in, and it's a quick and easy way to get things done in a hurry. You can see that we have containers for our users, and we see all the default users and the user accounts that are currently present underneath computers and domain controllers. You have the machines that are currently installed as part of your Active Directory domain. So this is all good ways that we can help ease the administrative burden of managing our domain, and that's what Active Directory is all about. So that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about promoting Server 2019 to a domain controller using PowerShell. 
So if you have any questions or you have any concerns, please do not hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.